Welcome to the video. So I started on the slots, but I didn't end on the slots. But this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about table hopping because I got recently presented with a question of whether or not people should switch tables or when to do it and all that. So I'm gonna just kind of give my opinion on it in this video. And I think I started with $50 is gameplay. So this was just a hit that I just started recording on. But just stay tuned, I will be switching to the fish tables in a minute. Congratulations to the two giveaway winners from today, by the way. I sent both of y'all $30 each. So congratulations to y'all. And everybody else should stay tuned for another giveaway soon. If y'all didn't know nothing about this giveaway, it was from a couple videos ago. And it was for anybody who wanted to go sign up with Tap Out Gaming. It's a new group that I've been rocking with recently. All of that info is down below if you want to go check them out if you haven't already. But yeah, I will be doing another giveaway soon. Just stay tuned for that. And if you're somebody who new to my channel, just understand that I do giveaways every now and then. You just got to watch the videos and I just pretty much tell you to comment down below if you want to enter the giveaway. But you'll know when it comes because I will announce it. But yeah, just a little warning for anybody who is new to the channel. Okay, so let me give my opinion on table hopping real quick. Like I said, I recently got a question and somebody was pretty much asking me, like, should they move to different tables? And like, when should they move to different tables? Like, how do they know when to go to another table? And my opinion is table hopping is good to do. There's nothing wrong with it at all, but it's not gonna guarantee anything, of course, because you never know what the game is gonna do. But if you find yourself on a table and the table is dry, it seems cold and nothing is really going for you and you don't spend most of your money and everything, then it might be a good idea to go try out another table. I have done this plenty of times, of course. I'm pretty sure anybody who has played for a while does this all the time. But I have been in situations where I was on a table and I'd be down to $5 left and I'd go to another table like Monster Frenzy for example and I'd pop the little jumping man and I'd get back in the game but it's all up to you and what you want to do because sometimes I'm pretty sure I have left tables and something was about to pop so I might have missed out on it but that's why this gambling you just never know what's gonna happen but I do think that switching tables can be necessary sometimes and then sometimes it might not be a good idea to switch tables if you want a table and it's popping off, then it might be a good idea to stay. But like I said, if it's dry and cold, then it might be a good idea to go try out another table. And that table, whatever you, whatever table that you switch to is all up to you. You just never know where you're going to go and it's going to be popping. You just got to kind of pick one and hope for the best.
I really be hating when I get a two. I love when it multiplies, but I really wish it was something that I could do to just get a times five every single time. That would be perfect. But I did want to tell y'all, I have been looking at all the suggestions y'all gave me from the last video, and I am gonna start working on them soon. I think I got like another two to three videos I gotta post that's like already waiting to be posted. And then I should start working on them. Some of y'all gave me some really good suggestions. Some of y'all gave me some like funny suggestions and some crazy, but it's all good. I'm gonna start working on them real soon though. So I can start putting those videos out. Whoever this is came in and look, he started to take over. But I will be going to another table soon. That's why I wanted to post this gameplay because I got asked a question about table hopping. And in this one, I think I switched tables at least like three to four times, but you will see it coming up. I didn't even win a whole lot of money this gameplay. I really about lost all my money. And then I got like a little, another little hit that kind of gave me some money back and then i kind of just accepted what i got and i ran away with it but yeah i will be switching tables soon Everybody smile. Wild hog coming. And see, I ain't even gonna lie, right there, I feel like I maybe should have stayed on the pig a little longer because I never know. Like, I was only on it for a little while and then I just like switched tables. 
I could have tried at least like another thirty dollars at least on it, but I didn't even give it a chance. I just kind of went to another table because whenever the clown is in like the three hundred cent stuff, I be thinking that it's like slow anyway. But I do still like to try it because I do like popping it when it's in the high numbers, then so I can get it, so I can see if I can get it at the low numbers. But I just switched tables and went over here to the Aladdin. But it wasn't really much popping up for me this whole gameplay for me anyway and that's why when i got some money back i decided to just kind of run away with it anyway but yeah just to kind of wrap everything up i do think table hopping can be necessary sometimes and sometimes it's not necessary it just all depends on what the game is doing and how you feel and if you winning money on the table then i would just say stay but if you are realizing that the table is starting to take a lot of money away from you then it might be good to go try something else out but sometimes the game can just be slow all the way around it can be slow whatever table you go on it just ain't doing nothing but you just never know but that's why you just gotta gamble and take a chance and take a risk and you just gotta see what you can get from it but i do hope that y'all enjoyed this little video i hope that y'all been having some good luck on the game and like I said, all the info for Tap Out is down below. If you want a new group to go play with and try out, text the number down there. I don't really think they respond on Facebook. I never tried to message them on Facebook because I just saw their number and I just text them. But however you do it, if you want to go check them out, all the info is down below if you want to read it. Stay tuned for more videos and stay tuned for more giveaways soon. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I do appreciate y'all.